are so fucking awesome. Um, also, uh, before I forget, I wanted to say something. Um, if you guys didn't know, um, this night is incredibly special for me and Brian because it is it literally almost to the minute the 10th anniversary of the night that we met. We met, we met on Halloween night of 2000 at my house. I was throwing a big Halloween party and Brian came to the party and saw me play piano because I played some songs because it was, you know, a huge art fag party and everyone was doing very <laughs> exciting things. Um, Brian, Brian came dressed as a severed head. <laughs> and, <laughs> I, I, you can read all sorts of incredible psychological symbolism into this. I was dressed because I didn't have any fucking time to make a costume, and and the night of the party came, and I was like, fuck, I need a costume. So I went into this bag that I had on the top shelf of my closet that my mother, it, like my mother had taken me to Filene's basement and insisted that that we buy adult clothes for me, <laughs> and I had them in a bag with sh sh Sharpie on the front, adult costume. <laughs> It was your power suit. It was a suit. In case I ever needed to go to an interview, they got a job! <laughs> and so I was like, fuck it, that's the, that's the most, that's the only thing I have that will actually make sense as a costume. So I went as a temp. <laughs> to my own art party. The temp meets the bloody the head. Yes. And, the magic and, it all, and it all unfolded from there. Anyway, the point of the story was not just that. But the man who made it all happen, who was the mutual friend of me and Brian, who brought Brian over to the party, is this guy, Sean Sitaro. And he's here tonight. And I just want you to give this guy a round of applause for introducing us. It wouldn't have happened without Sean Sitaro. Just 